during a, a non-election year, it's always a lot more pleasurable to come out to groups. <laughs> Really, because you get really what's happening. You get updates on a daily, on a nonpartisan, you know, no special interest, no agenda. You just kind of get what's happening, and I think that's very important. So let's just take a, a big picture, and then we'll kind of bring it down to what's happening today. And I, I like to start out by talking about what I consider the big picture. Now, this may not be everybody's uh, opinion, but I try to make it all my presentations based on fact. And I go throughout the state and make a similar type of presentation, whether they be to chambers of commerce, which is kind of the, the flavor I'm giving you, because you wanted to know about the economy, you wanted to know what's happening financially, how it affects Wellesley in particular. And I think to, to start that out, you need to know what the big picture is. And so let's just talk about um, the last four years. If you take the last four years and you take the last two Romney budgets and the last two Patrick budgets, if you take the amount of vetoes that were actually made by each governor, they're substantial. They're in the thousands. So if you take those two budgets and you actually see how many of those vetoes were actually sustained out of those, say, 1,200 vetoes, how many do you think actually were sustained by the legislature? How about zero? <laughs> So out of that, you would think out of the thousand, you know, thousand plus vetoes that, that there would be one that would be sustained. Now, I'm going to get a little partisan here because it's just the way it works out. It's not because I'm trying to be, but out of that amount, how many Democrats do you think actually supported Governor Patrick, who's a Democrat, and Governor Romney, who's a Republican? How many do you think actually sustained those vetoes? Well, let me make it easier. Zero. Okay. And uh, I, I supported Governor Romney about 62% of the time, and Governor Patrick about 67% of the time, because you can't tell me that one governor, whether they be Democrat or Republican, can't or couldn't come up with one, one way to save $1 for the state. You can't tell me that they didn't have a good idea one time. So what does that tell you? It tells me, as, a, as, a, as somebody who's up there on a daily basis, who sees some of these crazy things that we're spending money on, say to myself, my goodness, why is that? Why, why can't we get somebody to support the governor, whether they be Democrat or Republican, one time? And it's very, very frustrating because that's a billion four that we could have in the kitty right now.